Hi guys, welcome again, hour two of three. So I am teaching this three hour block of classes. Last time, in the last class, we had an advanced speaking and reading class about um, that our topic was academic English. And in this class, we are going to be reading and learning about minimum wage. If you don't know what minimum wage is, this is an, this is an awesome class to start. I love how Chow Pan always shows up in classes that have to do with money. He's like, that is me. Money? I want to talk about money. My forte. <laughs> how are you, Chow Pan? Um, not bad, not bad. But one thing that's somewhat annoying is I forgot to bring my school card. And I'm in my school's cafeteria, or I can say, auditorium, right? Uh, yeah, cafeteria yeah. or auditorium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so I can't can't buy break, breakfast and oh. actually while I was walking in my walking in my campus I uh, I thought about it and I put my hand in my pocket I can't find my school card and I think there is just 10 minutes your class will start and oh, I just bring back my school card what should I do so finally I choose to bring, attend your class and, oh. That's awesome. I was gonna say, Chow Pan, if you forgot breakfast, here here's a loot here's a toonie. Two dollars. <laughs> and there should be like a, there should be like a slot where I'm like Chow Pan here. Cha ching and Chow Pan gets like my toonie. I don't know. In two dollars, how how much can you buy in China in two dollars? Two dollars. Yeah. I can I think I can buy a lunch for just for myself. Yeah. Wow, that's like two dollars I can probably get like a bottle of water. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. So, Chao Pen, did, so did you eat? Nope. No? Aww, it's okay. I'm hungry too. It's dinner time here. But I'm, I'm with you awesome guys. So, my hunger is gone. So, Chao Pen, you're going to gonna be, you're gonna be talking to us about minimum wage. And you're, you're going to tell us the economics of minimum wage. All right? Yeah. All right. That's my major. That's <laughs> your major. Perfect. Um, Let's see, who else do we have? So we have lots of students from the previous class. You guys are wonderful. So Salva and Nihan, Mine, Hamid, Amparo. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, Hi awesome again, people. Again, Hi. Turkey. Again, Turkey, I know. And we also have somebody new. We have Douglas. Yes. Hi, hello. Hi, how are you, Douglas? I'm fine, and you? I am good, too. Where are, where are you from, Douglas? I'm from Brazil. You're from Brazil, awesome. And you're, I don't think you've been in my class before. No, I haven't. Welcome. Welcome, really nice to have you. Thanks. How long have you been uh, using Burbling? Mm, two weeks. Two weeks? This, yes, but this is my second class, actually. Oh, OK, so you're very, very new. Yes. <laughs> awesome, so I'm, I'm glad you decided to, to, join, to join my class. OK. <laughs> Just a little dance. I'm a little happy dance. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So let's get started. Today's topic, we're going to be discussing uh, minimum wage. All right. Who knows what minimum wage is? Wait. What about, let's talk about wage. What is a wage? Salary. 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 What is the difference between salary and wage? Maybe time. For example, uh, maybe I am wrong. A wage is for uh, for uh, one week. Mm -hmm. uh, salary is for one month. A wa salary is kind of a wage. Okay, wage is basically any any way that uh, an employer pays an employee. Any mm -hmm. way. So wage doesn't have to be money. Okay, any way that any way that you are paid for doing work. So you can be paid with money, you can be paid with maybe your groceries are bought for you, maybe your rent is paid, maybe your car is paid for. Any way that you are compensated by an employer is a wage. Okay? Salary is like a fixed amount of money. This is my salary. Okay? I make $500 every week or I make $3,000 every month. 
okay? Or I make $50,000 every year. That's a, it's your fixed amount of money. A salary is not only uh, in a month, okay? Salary is not the amount of money you make in a month, but it's a fixed amount of money that you make over a period of time, okay? So what's your weekly salary? Oh, my weekly salary is $500, okay? What's your monthly salary, right? So mostly people who have steady income. You guys know what steady income is? Steady income. What is steady income? What it's is in stable? Yeah. Short, stable short income, income and a certain money in certain money. Exactly, income is the money that is coming into you that you are making. Steady is 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 stable. So there, mostly people who have a steady income, they have a salary because they know how much money they are making every month or every week or so on and so forth. Okay, people who work on on a wager, who work on wage, usually work by the hour. Okay, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Minimum wage, minimum wage, the very, the smallest amount of money that you are legally able to make. All right, lots of countries, I think all developed countries have minimum wage, but lots of um, undeveloped or developing countries do not have that. All right, so for example, here in Canada. Okay, that is minimum wage in Canada, $10.75 per hour. No matter where you work, whether you work for someone uh, on a salary or you work hourly, the minimum amount of money you will make is $10.75 an hour, okay? If somebody says, I'm not going to pay you that much, that's illegal, okay? Because legally, that is, you, you, even, yes, even McDonald's, even McDonald's, base salary, minimum wage. So people who work at McDonald's, when, so if you ask someone, how much money do you make? It's like, I make minimum wage, all right? So I don't make more than is like the lowest amount of money anyone can make, all right? So McDonald's jobs, uh, when you are really young, when you are in high school, you always start at a minimum wage job. Nobody's going to give you a $20 an hour job when it's your first job, right? So you start at minimum wage. And in Canada, minimum wage is different from province to province, okay? For example, I live in the province of Ontario. In Ontario, minimum wage is this much, $10.75. In Alberta, Alberta, minimum wage is closer to $15. So people who work at McDonald's in Alberta make $15 an hour, okay? So it's, it's, it, it varies. In America, in the United States, minimum wage is all over the country. All 50 states in America have the same minimum wage. In Canada, it's, it's a little different depending on which province you live in, okay? And how much for USA? Uh, US is around... Is around eight, yeah. As I is around eight per hour. Okay, that's why it's so many issues with the U.S. Canada is awesome. Come on, you move to Alberta, you make more than like what most people make in Ontario by working at McDonald's. Okay, so it's the it depends. Alberta is a very oil rich province. Oil rich. Okay. They have a lot of oil, so they can afford to have higher minimum wage. The, the more rich your country or your province is, the higher the minimum wage will be because they want everybody to have a better standard of life. Okay? So this is what we're going to talk about. So you guys are going to, we're going to discuss about what minimum wage is in your countries, uh, whether or not you have minimum wage, and if any of you have worked minimum wage jobs, um, and how you progress. Okay? When you move up in pay, what is that called? Where you make a certain amount of money and then you move up. You make a little more money. What is that called? A raise. Okay? So how do you move up? How do you get a raise from minimum wage? Okay? So we're going to talk about all that. All right? So looks like our class is now full. So that's awesome. Hi again, Akif. Nice to have you again. Uh, hi. 
<laughs> welcome back. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. And lastly, we also have Hoyin. Hoyin, good morning. Hello. How are you? Good morning. Um, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine? Like sleepy, but I'm good. Okay? No, I'm not sleepy anymore. Not sleepy anymore? I'm okay. Not, that's had a long sleep. That's awesome. So, you guys, does everybody have the document that we are using in class today? Yeah? For yeah. all those who don't have it, Hamid has posted it in the Verbling chat, all right? So, we are going to, we're going to answer some questions from that. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, minimum wage and then we're going to learn some vocabulary and read a little bit about it, okay? So, what I'm going to do is... Uh, Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen so you guys will be you guys will be seeing um, the PDF document. Chao Pen, tell us what you just wrote. Tell us that. Say it. Okay, I say in some province in China, uh, if you work for the McDonald's, you can only get one point five dollars per hour. So, yeah, that is extremely <laughs> low, and you can get a bonus as you know you can get in. This more point than what it is. <laughs> wow, but but that's that's because of different currency, right? So a one point five, so one dollar fifty cents. How much is that in in Chinese currency? I uh, I would say ten ten yuan, ten RMB. Yeah, ten Chinese oh. currency. But it is still mm -hmm. low. I mean, it's still low. And yeah. it, is that is that minimum wage or is that just what McDonald's pays? I'm not sure about just students for <coughs> only students for this minimum mm -hmm. wage because mm -hmm. yeah, they can. Yeah, we all need to do it even the wage is so low. So that is why some controversial uh, controversy about minimum wage should we put a minimum wage? Yeah, mm -hmm. because some people are willing to be paid. Yeah, how, Min is asking a question. How much is a Big Mac in China? The Big Mac in China, well. What does it mean? Oh, uh, the, uh, how much is uh, a sandwich? So a burger in China, oh. how much is it? In from McDonald's, from McDonald's, how much is a burger? Uh, I think when you, you you can't believe the advertisement because you can see that in the advertisement the the ha hamburger is that big, and <laughs> if you if you just buy it in Chinese McDonald's, you can only get this. Yeah. yeah. Just half of them, or even yeah. smaller. Yeah. And and how much do they? How much does it cost? What's the price? I think it is high than. Yeah. It's it's higher than how much you make. Uh, I think the price some have some you know it is not the real price. I think it is relatively higher than its own value. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, Mine, I would I would assume that it's pretty much it's pretty much the same. I would assume that. Uh, Big Mac would be like the same as what minimum wage is. The point of minimum wage is that, for example, in Canada, a big a, a meal from McDonald's is around is around six dollars. Mm, let's say six. That's how much a meal is. All right. So the point is that your minimum wage has to be higher than how much a meal would cost. Okay, so you cannot make lesser money than how much it would take you to eat once a time, one one time a day, right? So that's that's one of the reasoning why there is minimum wage. Okay, so let's so let's discuss. So let's let's read our pre-reading warm-up questions. Okay, so let's read the first one. What is the lowest amount of money per hour that people can legally earn in your native country? Okay, so I told you guys in Canada. It is around ten dollars and seventy-five ten dollars and seventy-five cents per hour. That's minimum wage here. Salva, do you know if there's minimum wage in Egypt and how much it is? Uh, okay, really, I don't know if there is minimum wages or not. But mm -hmm. uh, in Egypt, we can we we don't take our salary by per hour. We take it monthly. Okay, so 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 you're not sure if there's a so what is the minimum monthly salary then? Uh, okay, it, it's different from job to another. Uh, there is no rule uh, to to maintain that, but uh, 
nowadays uh, our government said that uh, minimum salary per month will be uh, like uh, one thousand and two hundred uh, per month uh, dollars uh, not dollar but it's Egyptian um, Egyptian pound Egyptian pounds okay all right um, perfect thank you so for that Salva Nihan why don't you tell us about Turkey uh, in Turkey uh, one point uh, eight uh, dollar uh, per half mm -hmm. hourly mm -hmm. uh, is minimum uh, minimum uh, wage, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, as Salma said, uh, we calculate them per uh, month, mm -hmm. and it's nearly four hundred uh, per month uh, without stopage. Without sorry, without what? How can you say stopage? Tax? Or is that tax? Tax. tax. Without, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Without tax. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, even in Canada, ten dollars seventy-five cents is minimum wage, and then taxes on top of that. So if you take out tax, it will probably be like just ten dollars an hour. And Nihan, do you think that's a lot? A dollar eighty cent in in uh, Turkish currency, Turkish lira. How much does it come out in Turkish lira? Uh, per hour, it's in Turkish lira uh, three liras. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hamid said it's with tax, but uh, the net uh, wages are not uh, the, uh, that low. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, in Turkey, it's not enough. But, but uh, the um, the employers uh, mm -hmm. have uh, should. Uh, work with these wages mm -hmm. uh, because they cannot find uh, uh, anything else in uh, work mm -hmm. um, but uh, for the business uh, for the boss uh, these wages are uh, too much too high the, for these them. wages these wages these wages uh, are too much and uh, they just uh, move their business to other countries which the mm -hmm. wages are not stable and uh, it's an illegal uh, way they uh, remove their business the mm -hmm. other countries like Egypt or uh, that kind of mm -hmm. perfect thank you so much for that for that Nihan Mine we we already spoke about Turkey but why don't you give us a little a bit of information on American on American minimum wage since you live in the United States I just know the American wage, how much is it in US, that's it. Mm -hmm. I think um, uh, you you told before it's similar all of the stage and um, around $8 mm -hmm. per hour. And generally, our uh, employee employment get this money. Mm -hmm. And my salary, I get, the, I, I get check every two weeks. Mm -hmm. You get checked every two weeks. What is that called when you're paid every every two weeks? P uh, B weekly. Bi weekly. Bi weekly, yeah. Yes, bi weekly. Yeah, if you're paid once a month, then what is that called? Uh, monthly. Yes. So if you are paid every two weeks, then you, your, your pay is bi-weekly. But if you are paid once a month, like Salwa said, you are in Egypt, then that is, then you are paid monthly. Okay? Actually, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, my salary is, um, I work is less, uh, monthly salary, but they give every two weeks check. They give every two weeks, yeah. Yeah, that, that's okay. It, uh, your salary is a fixed amount of money. Your check is when you get paid can be bi-weekly, can be monthly. Uh, some people get paid even weekly. What would then weekly? Hello? Okay. Weekly would be once every week. Yeah. So you can get paid whenever, but your salary, your fixed amount of money would be the same. It's just a matter of how you divide it up in a month. That's that's fine. Perfect. And um, I, I don't know what it's like in the U.S. Does minimum wage go up every year, Mini? Um, yeah, they increase. It's like uh, immeasurable. Mm -hmm. You cannot feel that or you cannot see that increase. Yeah. Um, 
in Canada as well, minimum wage is increased every year. Sometimes it's increased by 10 cents, sometimes it's increased by 50 cents and yeah. And because of the because how expensive it becomes to live every year, the government because of inflation. Everybody knows what inflation is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Chao Pan, tell us what is inflation. <laughs> In, and inflation means uh, it is an economic term means mm -hmm. the price of the bunch of a series of of the products in the market just raise. Uh, reach to a new price mm -hmm. higher than before. I mean, it exists for a certain time, and mm -hmm. there is not just one product, a different uh, type of product. They all increased. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. For example, if last year uh, milk, a box of milk was worth two dollars and is worth two dollars and fifty cents this year, it's because of inflation. All right. So minimum wage in developed countries goes up every year if inflation is happening. Okay. If inflation is not going on, then minimum wage will not go up. But if there is inflation, if the cost of living is going up, then your minimum wage will go up as well. Because how are you going to afford a higher standard of life with the same amount of money? So if your standard of life is going is becoming expensive, then you need to be paid more money so you can live the same lifestyle. Okay, perfect. Thank you for that, Chao Pan. Um, Hoyen, tell us about Vietnam. In Vietnam, we also have minimum wage, but mm -hmm. usually people don't get minimum wage. Because mm -hmm. We also have uh, something called uh, a coefficient. That means you're gonna, um, how can I say, you're gonna, uh, how do I say? So, you always get higher than minimum wage because the minimum wage is too low for you, for oh, mm -hmm. the normal people to live. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just about uh, like uh, three to five dollars a month. So okay. How, how much is it? How much is it per month? Sorry. Fifty-five dollars a month. So twelve dollars a month is minimum wage. Yes, but mm -hmm. usually people don't get paid uh, minimum wage because mm -hmm. it's too low, mm -hmm. and uh, the government cannot uh, raise the minimum wage because if we do so, the inflation will come back. Inflation will go, yeah. So it, it'll, inflation will take place once again. So all your living expenses will go up. Your um, your uh, utilities and all your bills. Yeah, exactly. Nihan, that's a very good point. Why don't you Why don't you talk about it? Why don't you tell us? Um, uh, like Cho said, uh, we uh, rise, we increase the uh, minimum wage, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not in balance with uh, inflation. Mm -hmm. uh, some goods, some supplies, uh, prices. Are very increased and uh, uh, speed um, they increase fastly, mm -hmm. but the minimum wage uh, not uh, equal, uh, not incrementing the same uh, rate uh, mm -hmm. uh, with the minimum uh, with the inflation. It's mm -hmm. the problem, and mm -hmm. your money, your minimum wage is getting more decrease and decrease by the time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, uh, so that's a very good point. Inflation is rising faster than minimum wage. Okay, that's why there are so many people around the world who are uh, who are falling into poverty because they are not making enough money, uh, and living is becoming more and more expensive. Going to school, getting an education, buying your groceries, uh, the prices of gas and oil, everything has become very expensive. But your minimum wage is almost the same. So how are you yeah, going to? Bonus. Yeah, it doesn't exactly. Increment, that's a very good word. What does increment mean, Nihan? Mm, kind of um, balancing, um, how can I explain? I know the word, but I, uh, I can't explain the, the definition is hard. That's, it. that's okay. What's an increment? An increase. An increase? In, an increase in what? An increase in small amount. Okay, so for example, uh, I will pay you in 
increments of five dollars okay I will pay you in small amounts of five dollars an increment is when something is going up but not rapidly so it's not gonna like all of a sudden go from one till ten it'll go up from maybe one till one point five then two then two point five so minimum wage is going up in increments but inflation is going up really really fast okay that's very good point thank you thank you for that Nihan uh, let's get yeah you're welcome let's get Douglas Douglas why don't you tell us a little bit about in minimum wage where you are from yes here in Brazil the salary is paid monthly mm -hmm. and it's about three hundred dollars per month mm -hmm. American dollars mm -hmm. and uh, this cost about one dollar and two two cents per per hour. Mm -hmm. One dollar and two cents per hour. And yes. do you think do you think that is that's enough? Do you think it's sufficient amount of money? Uh, <coughs> no, it's not. No? It's very low. It's, it's very, very low. low. Mm -hmm. People usually have to get two jobs or work uh, work more mm -hmm. in their job, do extra extra time mm -hmm. in their job. To raise some money more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's a that's something that we see here in North America as well. Where if you are working a minimum wage job, you usually have one or two jobs. Okay, yes. you you cannot support yourself on just one minimum wage job. You have to have two of them. Okay. Yes, in some cities in Brazil, you can because uh, the uh, are small cities. But for example, in São Paulo or Rio, mm -hmm. it's impossible because the cost of life is very high. The cost of uh, the cost of living is very high. The cost of living is very high. It's very high. You don't have to say height, high, just high. High. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much for that, Douglas. Chao Pen, welcome. <laughs> I'm happy you came back. Um, yeah. So Chao Pen. I know you already mentioned that like working at a McDonald's is a dollar fifty an hour, but is yeah. what about is there minimum wage in China? Yes, we have minimum wage and it varies from provinces. Um, mm -hmm. in some province in some big cities you can the minimum wage is higher than what it is in some pro cities. I mean mm -hmm. you can only get uh one hundred and fifty dollars per month. In some mm -hmm. cities, but mm -hmm. I think it is the varies from the cities is reasonable because the uh, purchase power of the money is different and the life standard is different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so minimum wage is higher if you are living closer to a city, then. Yeah. Basically, and if you're living in like a rural area, you guys know what rural is? Rural. Yes. Yeah. What is rural, Hamid? Uh, antonym of. Uh, Urban areas. I yes. Mean, like yeah. countryside. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Countryside. Exactly. Villages, countryside. So if you live in a rural area, because your cost of living is low, your minimum wage is lower as well. Perfect. Thank you for that, Chao Pen. And Paro, what about you? My country, the basic salary is for month, uh, it is $318. Mm -hmm. And do you think that's enough? Not really, because if, uh, generally the, the families here are big, mm -hmm. just, uh, so that isn't enough to pay the, the basic, the, the, uh, your, your house and your, uh, your basic service. Necessities of life. Yeah. 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 What, are, what are necessities of life? Yeah, you guys tell me, what are some basic necessities of life? Food, 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 drink. food, drink. What else? Shelter. Shelter. Yeah, shelter. Where you live, accommodation. Clothing. Clothing. Exactly. All right. Breathing. Sorry, uh, Hamid. What did you say? Breathing. I mean. Breathing. No, no. Necessities of life are things that you need to buy. Okay, this is not necessity of life from a science point of view, not a biological point of view. When we say necessities of life, it's like uh, I need to have a car to go to work. It's a necessity of my life. Okay, for some people it is, for some people it isn't. But basic necessities of life: 
food, shelter, clothing, um, education, all right? Healthcare, these are basic utility bills. Perfect, yes. Paying your electricity, paying for uh, your internet. In today's world, internet is a necessity of life. You cannot <laughs> live without the internet. It has become a basic necessity of life, all right? So uh, think mobile phone. Uh... Verbally, yeah. Mobile phone. For a lot of people, it's cell phones as well. Okay? So let's, so, Akif, why don't you tell us, what do you think, what are some, so question number two, let's move on to question number two. What are, what which are, types what of jobs type of offer jobs minimum offer wage? Minimum wage? Uh, What's going on? Uh, mm -hmm. I hear an uh, echo. Yeah, it's, it's coming from Akif. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, repeat again question. Uh, question number two, what types of jobs offer minimum wage. So what kind of jobs do you work minimum wage for? Such as Chow Pen gave an example, if you work at McDonald's, that's a minimum wage job. What other jobs are minimum wage? Uh, minimum wage, uh, for example, uh, uh, service sector. Services, yeah, yeah. services. Services. Yeah. People who work in the services sector, okay? Who are these people? Waitresses. Waitresses. Yeah. Wait. Wait. A lot of people. A lot who of people work who in work fast, in food. fast food. Okay. What are some other positions in fast food that work minimum wage? So waiter, waitresses, blue collar workers. Exactly. What are some other jobs? You guys can, yeah? Go ahead, Nihan. Um, I just oh, think. Yeah. Hoi what about you? I was just thinking about plumber. Yeah. Like, like a bus boy. Okay? A bus yeah. boy is a minimum, a dishwasher. A backer, maybe. No, backer in supermarkets. Oh, baggers, yes. Exactly. Cashiers. Cashiers. Okay, people who like uh, ring up your, when you buy your groceries, people who put your groceries through the scanner, cashiers, baggers, dishwashers, these, some people said pilots in the U.S. Who told you pilots in the U.S. make minimum wage, Chow Pan? <laughs> from a movie, uh, a do documentary movie, and it said the U pilots in U.S., uh, maybe it is not the minimum wage, but the wage is too low, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, it, yeah, and it sometimes it can't it, it lower than what the people do in the McDonald's. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that oh. that su surprised me, and it has some reasons behind that because the computation of the airplane company is furious, and uh, uh, the Okay. okay, sorry back. about that. Sorry about that, Chapin. Yeah, you were saying that it surprises you that uh, people say that pilots in the U.S. make less than make less than minimum wage. Oh, uh, so mm -hmm. should I continue? Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, because the computation between the L L line companies, furious, mm -hmm. and the companies that want to minimum their cost, so the wage is a cost for company. So, and also the people who want to be a pilot because they are passionate about it. Some mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't care about the money, mm -hmm. so the company can extract from these people. Exploit, exploit. Ex exploit from these people. Exactly, exploit is take advantage of people, exactly. Yeah. Um, honestly, when you are in training, train what is in training? To be in training, what does that mean? Who knows what that means? Training before, af, um, after they fire you, you have to go through to what you have to do and train. Kind of, education. Kind of education. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When people in jobs such as medicine, okay, doctors in training, um, researchers in training, pilots in training, if you have a job 
in which other people's life depends on you, you have to go through a training program. Okay, may like for example here, you cannot just go to medical school and become a doctor. Okay, you have to go through training. You have to do we call it residency, residency. Ten thousand. Okay? You have to do 10,000 residency hours, meaning before you become a doctor, you are training to be a doctor. So it's like an internship, but not, not really. It's, and during your training, you get paid very little. Okay? So when pilots are in training, before they complete their 10,000 hours, they are in training. Then they get paid very little because they're not really pilots they are training to be pilots once they pass their training and they become real pilots pilots make a lot of money pilot like being a pilot is a very well paid profession but doctors pilots researchers they have to train for a very long time before they can become certified okay so while you are training your pay is not that high so maybe what you maybe what you read or what you heard was about uh, pilots in training. Oh, maybe not. Or maybe not. Maybe some really poor pirates out there. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but but yeah, rookie. Exactly. Rookie would be someone who has just started out. Okay. Like I'm a rookie. I've been flying for only one month. Okay. Uh, what is the opposite of rookie, Hoyan? Veteran. Veteran. Okay, for example, I'm a veteran. I have been flying a plane for 30 years. Okay, somebody who's been doing something for a very long time and they're very good at it, they are called veterans. Somebody who just started doing it is called a rookie. Okay, for good. example, uh, I, am a, I am a veteran student uh, for your lessons, Hina. Yes, exactly. You're a veteran student for my lessons. Mine, what, what were you saying? Uh, I just say, can I use master also instead of veteran? Master is somebody who teaches as well. Okay, like he's a master. He is a veteran. But can you increase mm -hmm. your experience for mm -hmm. research or medicine? You mm -hmm. become a veteran or I didn't you, get it. So a veteran would be someone who is who who has thirty years of experience, right? and they are still working but they are not teaching it to other people okay a master would be you've been doing something for 30 years and now you are telling rookies and people who are starting out how to do the same job then you would be a master master would be passing your knowledge and your skills on to other people veteran would just be I've been doing this for really long and I'm really good at it I'm not teaching other people about it though. Master would be, I've been doing this for really long, I'm really good at it, and I'm teaching others how to do the same thing. Got it, thank you. Got it? Perfect, awesome. And Hina, uh, we can use for experts or Ex veterans? Expert. expert, 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 yes, exactly. Expert. Another, another word would be expert. Expert veteran, someone who knows everything about, about a specific thing. Okay. Capitalism, a love story. It talked about this problem. What, what problem? The problem about capitalism the, and minimum wage? Yes, the pilot's wage and yeah. Oh, okay. So guys, if you're interested in this topic, that there's a movie Chow Pen recommends, Ch uh, Capitalism, a love story. Okay. So we were talking about uh, other jobs. So some jobs that are minimum wage. So we said people in the services sector, dishwashers, busboys, baggers, waiters, waitresses. What other kind of jobs do you guys think are uh, minimum wage? Garbage, garbage men. Yeah. Garbage men. Yeah, garbage men. Who else? Gardener. Gardener. Yes, gardener. Okay. Someone who takes care of your lawn or your garden. What else? Uh, housekeepers janitors janitors yes jan people who clean your school at night time when you were like oh i'm so tired and then janitors come in they clean the bathrooms and they clean the classrooms janitors okay these are what else can you guys think of any other jobs house cleaners yeah house cleaners yeah okay a lot of 
entry level jobs some drug dealers drug dealers make a lot of money what are you talking about <laughs> chao pan whoa <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about no, drug dealers the reason people become drug dealers is because they make so much money <laughs> so you would not be a drug dealer if it was minimum wage okay so awesome you guys you guys you guys did really well is there very if you guys can think of anything else that you think is a minimum wage job definitely let me know okay all right so let's so let's you know, maybe beggars beggars are not minimum wage no beggars no you don't a beggar would be minimum wage if every time somebody paid a beggar they gave him or her 10 dollars okay that's not how it works all right minimum wage is legally how much money you make legal legal okay, not not yeah. illegal not illegal. not illegal so drug dealers for example illegally how much money you make you you know so minimum wage is is a legal term okay your government is responsible for setting the minimum wage in your country okay um emparo can i get you to read this little code up here um people will mm -hmm. people will indeed work all day for 2 dollars if that is their only option option exactly all right so if you're if you cannot work for more than 2 dollars an hour minimum wage if that's what it is then you'll do it you have no option okay you you have to make money somehow okay so what we'll do is we're going to read uh i want to read this this paragraph first so you guys can see the words how they are being used and then we'll try to match them okay so let's get i'll get you guys to read um douglas douglas can i get you to read this first paragraph here minimum wage is it enough to make life worth living <laughs> minimum wage is is the lowest amount of money yes this this yes. sentence yeah yep yeah. Of money an employer is legally allowed to pay an an employee. The hourly rate or yearly salary differs differs, differs. in every country. Differs. differs mm -hmm. in every country. In some countries, minimum wage is enough for people to get by. In other nations, minimum wage allows people to merely survive. Perfect. Thank you, Douglas. What does merely mean? Merely survive. Just What's just barely. 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 Yeah. barely almost so minimum wage for some people is just almost enough to survive solely solely means only solely but it's not the same thing hamid only this it's not okay. the same thing perfect thank you douglas uh chao pan can i get you to read the second paragraph please yes Some people argue that increasing the rate of minimum wage can actually lead to job loss. If forced to pay more, employers may choose to maintain a small workforce. They may also outsource work from countries where people are more dis desperate, desperate and well, desperate, desperate and mm -hmm. well accept lower wages. Perfect. Thank you, Chapin. Um uh, Minnie, can you read the third one? Okay. Oh. I cannot see that. Uh let me make it bigger okay. then. Yeah. So I am. Is that okay? Yeah. Some okay. people argue that in no, 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 the third third one, the third oh. one. Yeah. Business aren't the only ones to blame. Our purchasing habits help keep minimum wage low. Most people don't think twice about where cheap clothing and goods are manufactured. Would you be willing to pay more for products if you knew workers are being paid a fair wage to make them? Perfect. Thank you. Nihan, can you read the next paragraph? Sure. Many students and teens take minimum wage wage jobs in order to get a foot in the in the door. After they graduate, many students are over qualified for these jobs, but they have to start at the bottom. Young people cannot contribute much to economy if they have to disposable if they have to know this uh, disposable income. If they income. have no if they, they have, have no disposable. Mm -hmm. If they have no disposable income is spending more re uh, more really the answer thought what no. would have, though, though. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what would mm-hmm. happen if everyone in the world had a bit more spending money? Perfect. Thank you, Anihan. What is disposable income? Disposable income. What is what does disposable mean? They don't know how much money they can no. earn. No. No. It's a uh, one. Uh, uh, one. Can you save money? No, uh, it's no, not no. saving. Oh yeah. Press- Ciao. Yeah, so go ahead, Chao Pen, go ahead. Okay, the disposable income means after you pay your tax and after you pay your some bills and the money you can't deal with and you can spend it, just money in your hand after you pay your taxes or some bills yeah. for yeah. the government or something. Yeah. Basically, money that you do not need to live life. For example, money that you can have fun with, disposable income. If you have disposable income, you can go on a vacation, okay? So... Yeah. Uh, you can you can go on a vacation. You can buy a car. You can go. You can buy that really expensive PlayStation Four or that Xbox that you want to buy. Disposable income is income that you can use to pay for things more than the necessities of life. If you do not have disposable income, then you do not have extra money to pay for extra things. Disposable means something that you can throw away. So disposable income is money that you can be like, yeah, you know, I can buy this because I have the money to buy it. All right? Rich people have a lot of disposable income. People, Pina. yeah, go ahead. Uh, in my sector, in health uh, medical sector, uh, we produce disposable uh, products mm-hmm. uh, because uh, the surgeons uh, has to use uh, it, it one one time, and they have to throw it to the garbage. Exactly, that is exactly what disposable means. Something that you can use and throw away and not worry about it. Okay, like rich people when they spend money. They don't worry about it. It's like they can throw money away. But poor people cannot do that. Poor people do not have disposable income. They only have enough money to pay their bills and live their life. Okay? Perfect. Thank you for that, Chao And thank you, Nihan, for explaining uh, disposable as well. Um, and lastly, the, the last paragraph. Can I get Salva? Can you read the last paragraph, please? Min- minimum wa- wage in some countries is so low that it uh, traps people in poverty. Some people uh, think putting uh, an end to world poverty is w- within our grasp. Mm-hmm. Would would an international minimum wage help us reach uh, this goal? Many economists argue that this um, an unrealistic idea anything uh, that is, that is universal is very difficult to enforce would you bother getting an education if a minimum wage job let you live comfortably live comfortably live live, live comfortably perfect thank you for that salva so chao pen our economist who so do you think that's an unrealistic idea yes, so i think uh, mm-hmm. I think yeah. so. I agree with this uh, economist, and mm-hmm. I think there are main two main reasons behind that. Because you can't organize a, a global standard for every uh, you know single country mm-hmm. because the life standard is different. And also, mm-hmm. if you give a minimum wage, but it is too high for some country, mm-hmm. uh, you know the income effect means if you got too much money, you don't want to work anymore. Mm-hmm. And you just want to relax yourself, and you don't want to get a higher education or something. Mm-hmm. That because if you something get it global, you need to consider it a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it yeah. is no standard line. Exactly, exactly. So a- an international minimum wage, this universal law would not work because not all countries are in the same stance economically. Some countries are very poor, and other countries are very rich. So it would not work. Okay, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say so. Uh, Nihan, you pointed out a good word. Just guys, be careful. This word. How do you how do you say that? Though. Though. No. No. Exactly. It said the same same. What is what is this dough? D o u g h. What is that? Pizza dough. 
Yes, exactly. <laughs> dough, exact, dough is what you make bread from. So before you put the bread in the oven, it is still wet and it's soft. That is called dough. So it's the, said the same way as that, even though. Okay? Uh, there's a th sound. Uh, just, how do you say that? Food? Oh. Thought. 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 Okay? So even though the difference is only one letter, though does not have a T at the end, thought has a T. Thought, basically what you are thinking, your thoughts. Okay? So though and thought. They're said very, I don't know why it's like this, but it is like this. Donut, exactly. Or, who knows where this is from? Who knows where this is from? That's from oh. Do, that's from The Simpsons. Simpsons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you guys know Homer Simpson, he says, do. <laughs> All right. Do means money as well. Yes, in slang, do means money. Okay, but that's slang English. It's like, yo man, you gotta drop me some dough. I gotta buy some drugs. Okay, that yeah. means, that's slang English. It means money. Okay, perfect. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll read the uh, vocabulary match and then we'll talk about all the highlighted expressions. We'll, we'll talk about what they mean. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Pre-reading vocabulary tracks. To get by. What do you think get by means? Um, in some countries, minimum wage is enough for people to get by. Okay, based off of that, what do you think it means? See. Mm. See? What can can you read it in Paro? To have just enough money to pay the bills and live. Perfect. So to get by, just have enough money to pay your bills and live. You have no disposable income. You're not Paris Hilton, okay? <laughs> so it's like, so students, so Chao Pan, you're a student right now. You would say, I am just getting by. You, I don't know, I'm assuming you're not driving a Lamborghini or you have like five Macs or something. When I was a student, I was, it was so hard to get by because um, I was working two jobs. I had, I was in school full time and, um, my mother always wanted to see me on the weekend, so I had to get on the bus and go see her. That was so expensive. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a very difficult for me to get by when I was in university. Okay? She is listening to your lessons. Huh? <laughs> I hope so. You are the reason I'm poor, mother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's get started. So let's do um, Salva. Can Oh, no, let's do Minute. Mine, can you do number two for us since, you're, since you've already done it? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, two is merely, just barely. Yes, merely, just barely, just enough. Perfect, that's F. Uh, Salva, can you do number three for us, please? Yeah. Outsource. It's, um... Okay, so for example, America. Okay, uh, yeah? I, I got it. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. What is it? I would, I would to hire temporary workers outside of a company. Perfect. Excellent. Well done. Um, in 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 North America, you guys know what call centers are, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? yeah. Call center jobs. Uh, so okay, here. So this is this is very interesting because in America or in Canada, if you work at a call center you have to get paid minimum wage, right? So if you employ 1,000 people who work at a call center, you have to pay all of them minimum wage. You have to pay all of them at least $10 an hour. But you don't want to do that. So what do you do? You outsource your job to India. All of America's call centers are in India because minimum wage is so much lower in India than it is in America. If you hire 1,000 workers in America, you have to pay all of them $10 an hour each. But if you hire 1,000 workers in India for the same job, you probably have to pay them $2 an hour each. So, this, so because of this, so many companies outsource their jobs. They hire temporary workers outside of a company, and more and more often, they hire them outside of their country as well. Okay, for example, Apple products, where are they made? China. Exactly. 
if you were to make an iPad in America, it would if you wanted to buy that iPad, it would cost you five thousand dollars. Okay, but because it is outsourced to China, it is so much cheaper to make it because you are paying such a low minimum wage that you can afford to sell your iPad for only three or four hundred dollars. Okay, so outsourcing is a very big business all over the world. What a chai! Exact. Everybody knows that、uh, Apple Apple products are made in China. Perfect. Thank you for that, Salva. Nihan, can you do number four for us? Okay, four desperate. Oh, uh, <laughs> the E,、uh, a great need of resource. Desperate housewives. So wh what did you say? It's D. D exactly, in exactly. great、need、in great need of, of resource. Exactly, but I, it can be it, it, its meaning can be different because、uh, you know the TV movie, movies,、uh, Desperate Housewives. Desperate Housewives, yes, exactly. <laughs> so desperate, in great need of resource. All right, so I desperately need your car to go pick up my son. Okay, I really, really need to use your car to go pick up my son. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Nihan. Minute, minute. You already did one, so no. <laughs> Hoyen, can I get you to do number five? Number five, think twice. Um, let's see. Oh, I can't find the word. Okay. Who who would like to help Hoyen out? What is five? Oh, it's letter E. e? Can you read it? The consequences、mm -hmm. in one's act actions. Exactly. Do you really want to do that? Do you really want to eat that pizza that is two weeks old? I、no. would think. No, <laughs> I would think twice before eating that pizza. Okay, because if you don't think twice about it, you might get really sick. Okay, so thinking twice is. Oh, be sure of what your actions are. Are you sure you want to do that? Think twice before doing it. Yeah, if you're a student, you would. I've eaten so many bad pizzas and gotten sick. I don't even want to remember. <laughs> Perfect. Hamid, can you do number six for us? Okay. Get a foot in the door.、Uh, in my opinion, eight to get an entry level position or opportunity that could lead to something better. Exactly. So to get a foot in the door. Oh. I got a foot in the door by getting that job. There were many people who wanted it. Okay, so I got a very basic job that could lead to something big. Getting a foot in the door. Another way to say is is、uh, catch a break. Catch. When you get lucky and you get an opportunity to do something big, but you start out small.、Uh, Douglas, can you do number seven? Overqualified.、Mm -hmm. I think is letter G to have more than the necessary skills or education for a job. Perfect to have. So if you want to work at McDonald's, you would not have a PhD. You would not say I have a PhD and I want to work at McDonald's. They won't hire you. They'll say you are overqualified. You are too experienced and、um, your qualifications are too much to work for us. Okay. okay. Chow Pan number eight. Thank you for that, Douglas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Disposable income、uh, means money that it is not、uh, already designated to pay for living expenses and bills. Perfect. Thank you, Chapin. Emparo, number nine. Within one's grasp,、okay. um, J, possible. Exactly. So let's let's read where this was.、Um, Some people think that putting an end to world poverty is within our grasp. It is possible. It is something that we can do. Bye, Hoyen. Okay. Ashley Akif. Akif, can you do number ten? Unrealistic. Uh, 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 last uh, question.、Mm -hmm. uh, a. Not like to happen. Exactly. So. Is there going to be a universal minimum wage? That's very unrealistic. It's very unlikely that it will happen. Okay, perfect. I want to thank you guys for this class. I had a lot of fun, and thank you so much for sharing、uh, all your all the different、um, you know stories and everything that you guys have. The next class is mine too, and that's a writing class. All right.